This is going to be just a short video to hopefully demonstrate something about the Stifler loop that everyone seems to be asking questions on and it doesn't appear that someone's going to uh, try all the different things that are being asked of it. Here you see that I have two diodes, the one end 4148s. Let me get something up here so that it will show better. Okay, you can see the two diodes there. I've taken the shorting wire out of the top, and as you see, nothing's going on. So what I'm going to do is just take a screwdriver and short out where the shorting bar was, and we can see we have the light. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take a white LED, and I'm going to put this white LED up here, and you see it lights. Okay, now what I'm going to do is take that same LED with the same polarity and put it on the creeboard side of the diodes. In other words, the diodes are not included in the circuit lo and behold, nothing happens. So when I say that this, the two, one in 4148s have to be there, they do. You can't get around that at all. I put this up here. You see, it lights again. Another thing I might say while we're at it, is you can see the white LED. It's still not full brightness, and you can see what's happening to the preboard. So that's also an indication of just how much current is flowing in that loop. So anyway, I hope that kind of covers some of that. Uh, the Stifler loop is an amazing little thing. I've used it both gas generation and a lot of the other circuits. So I hope people experiment with it and see exactly what I've shown today. So thanks for watching.